Colorado real or is TCU just done for? Uh, I'm going to say both. I think both things are, are happening. Now, before I get into this, I do want to address the Florida situation because a lot of people are saying, man, look what Coach Prime's doing. Why can't Billy come in here and do that? Great question. Great question. This is I'm going to sidebar here, though. If we all remember last year, there was a coach that did the exact same thing that we were all asking. Well, if this coach can take his team to a national championship its first year, why can't Billy do it? That team that we're referring to and that coach that I'm refer- we're talking about, Sonny Gray. Yeah, the team that coaches this this team right over here that just got clapped by a 1-11 football team after getting clapped in the championship and looks like on a slippery slope all the way down. So we were all crying for Sonny Gray. I, I guarantee right now nobody's going to be knocking on his door to go scoop him up from TCU after what just happened week one, and they don't look like they're going to be doing anything exciting in, with the weeks to come. But we'll see. I'm just, again, this is how quickly we are to react. It, it goes both ways. Now, Back to Colorado, are they the real deal or is TCU done? I think they did exactly what we thought they would do and then some. I, offensively, I think they look fantastic. I think TCU, if they would have just ran the football, Colorado loses that football game without a shadow of a doubt. They would hand the ball off and run the ball for 10 yards easily. They just went away from it, and I don't know why. So, there's some holes that Colorado has to fix. doesn't matter that they got the job done. I think the Shador Sanders is a, is a real threat to win the Heisman. Looked incredible out there. Mind you, wasn't much defense being played. I'm not taking a shot, just simply playing facts. However, to throw for his, for over 30 completions for 500 yards in any given day is extremely impressive. Dylan Edwards, true freshman running back, explosive. Travis Hunter, son, incredible. Incredible plays uh, by that young man. I think, look, Colorado is real in the sense that they're going to be much more competitive than people were giving them credit for. I think a lot of the, the Buff fans, obviously, were expecting some things. Do I think they're a championship team? No. Do I think they're going to be compete for the Pac-12 championship? No. I think Oregon's going to knock them in the mouth. I think USC's going to knock them in the mouth. But I think they're going to be a fun watch week in and week out, nonetheless, because of what they can do on offense. A big concern was their, was their line. I don't think that 3-4 that defense that TCU brought really put too much pressure on the line. So we'll see how that kind of transitions from week to week. They play Nebraska in at home. Look, in a way, they are going in, just like Billy did last year against Utah. You go and get a big W. You've got a gauntlet, though, because now you're on this high, just like Billy was last year. Now you're going back home. Florida was going home at home against Kentucky. And a team that they felt, hey, we should be able to probably win this game. And obviously, Billy loses to, to Kentucky. I'm not saying Colorado's going to lose to Nebraska, but that's a big game. How does... Coach Prime and the Buffs handle week to week and with just the hype that has happened. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be something that's going to be fun to watch and, and keep an eye on. But look, I think I think they are a real legitimate, uh, not a threat, but they're, they're the real deal. They're going to be, again, a team to be, to be reckoned with, especially in the Big 12. I think they're going to have some fun next year. I think the Big 12 seems to be wide open, especially with TCU falling off, Oklahoma and Texas leaving. Uh, that Big 12 division is, uh, again, going to be wide open for anybody to, to, to take home with for sure.